you know, the split second I start this back up, I'm probably about to get attacked by guys. But anyway, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Eternal Twilight on screen! I went and got the le Legendary Crafter Badge! And, you know, we still have the grind level 30. <laughs> Stare me in the face! We only have three bosses left, too, and we've almost hit 56 achievements. And we start the grind over 30, which is one of those 56 achievements. I mean, I don't know what the reward is. I mean, it tells you what the reward is. We also start to sell a ton of gems and, you know, finish that side quest we couldn't finish. And this one is something we still can't do yet. But yeah, three bosses left. We gotta get to level 30 for the Infinity Necklace, which probably increases our experience points! But we're here at Sark's Village, where we had to go. I just walked all the way over here because... It makes our lives much easier. Because all we had to do is come back here. I swear to God, there's a thing over here that's going to try to kill me. Oh. Portal place? Yeah, another one. Yeah. Now I can come back here anytime. Alright, cool. Well, the only place that's not harmed is the item shop, conveniently enough. Okay, so I have no idea what these weapon molds look like, but if we split up and look through the wreckage, it'll go much quicker. Good thinking, Luna. The sooner we find these molds, the sooner we can leave this place. I feel like we shouldn't be here. Too many souls have been lost here. Yeah. Let's hurry, then. So can we talk to everyone? I don't think he made it out of here. There's blood behind the counter. I know it's his. I can't look at it. So he probably... Oh, gosh. Nothing over here. Let's talk to Damien. I'm not so sure how to feel about taking through what belongs to a dead man. We kind of have to, though. This stuff is all busted! Okay, Trish, do you have any sassy one-liners, or are you going to be serious this time? Can't help but think that we could have stopped the soldiers and blood magic from destroying this place. I mean, they came while we were at the fort. The armor and jewelry here is all burnt and worn out. Oh no, this is a bad sign. Watch there be nothing here. None of this stuff looks usable. I don't think we're going to find those molds here. Well, we're screwed then! So, now what? We're going to have to go back to the Elder and Trina let him know we couldn't find anything. This could be a major hamper in creating those weapons. Well, I guess we'll have to see what he says when we get there. Come on, let's go. Always something, ain't it? Well, at least we can just teleport out of here now. So, back to Trino. I feel like we're going to gradually be getting more locations to teleport to. I mean, we don't have Piatro proper, but, you know, I guess we'll get that eventually. We can't even go back there to finish the one quest, so... rip. Alright, Paul, we didn't get those molds! They aren't there! So now what? Hello, Elder. The look on your face as the search for the molds wasn't successful. We found absolutely nothing but destruction and trash in that armory. What are we supposed to do now? Hmm. We'll have to find somebody to make us the weapon molds. I never really made an attempt to get to know any smiths, so I'm useless here. Actually, I knew he might be able to help us. Do we have to go back to Muyan Port? <laughs> Who? Our good bomb making friend Tito! Alright! I forgot about him! How can I forget? Tito's with that crazy little lab under his shop. I'm sure he can whip us up some weapon molds. We're probably gonna do some stupid task for him. We might, we're just a man we might be able to help us, Elder. Ah, oh, yes. I'm familiar with that name. Wonderful. Will you be heading that way now? Yes, he might as well get to it and not waste any time. Okay, well, you do that, and I'll form a draw of the situation. Alright, so, now we have to go back to Tito's rest stop. Is this literally going to be the episode of going to one place only to find out that we can't do the thing there, there and then we have to go to another place? Is this going to be the travel episode, because literally, I can dodge encounters like a champion. So, we can just teleport to Stark's village, and then go from there. Because Tio's rat stop isn't that far. I'll probably get into an encounter on the way that will literally obliterate in like 12 seconds. 
But yeah, I'm hoping this is the last we see of this place. This place is depressing. Alright, just watch. Just watch. We're probably gonna get into an encounter. I swear if I have to go back to that damn cave! Alright, Tito, you better have some weapon molds ready for me. So can we make a teleport spot here too? Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, frick. Yeah, there's no spot. Welp! Hope you have something for me, pa- What? He's not in here. Did he get like 30 kinds of murdered or something? Oh, here you are. Hey there, Palio! I need weapon molds! Oh, hello there, old friends. What brings you back here to see this rusty old man? Hey, Tito, it's good to see you. We were actually wondering if you're familiar with making weapon molds. Weapon molds? That's cute. Excuse me? I think it'll be easier to show you. I swear, this man just has them. You ready to be shocked and awed by my greatness? Uh, sure? Not the answer I hoped for, but good enough. He has a downstairs, downstairs? Another secret lab under your secret lab? You bet! Oh my god, why? Why do you have two secret labs? Come on down, I think you're going to like what you find. Who the hell even is this guy? Thank you, Luna. That's why I wonder. Why does he have two secret labs? Tito Super Secret Lab! What the hell? So, how do you like it? I'm not sure if I should be impressed or afraid. This is a little on the crazy side, don't you think? Does he have a secret lab under a secret lab under his secret lab, too? It's most definitely a bit of both. So, this weapon mold thing you need, explain to me the specifics. Well, in a nutshell, we have a friend who's going to make us some very powerful weapons. We need a weapon mold for each of the types of weapons that we use. I see, I see. And how exactly are these weapons being molded? Are we talking metal? Plastics? Wood? Chemicals? Uh, well, that's a little confidential. I need to know these details or else I won't be able to make you the right molds. Souls. We're using souls. SOULS?! What? Hmm... Don't tell me you have to go do some ridiculous objective. Aha! Yes! Yes! What? Can you do it? I got it! I can do it! Okay, so what do we have to go get you this time? Yes, this shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. I mean, I've never made weapon molds that create weapons out of souls, but I can't imagine it being too hard, you know? It's great news, Tito. Thank you so much. Sure thing, friends. This will take me a while. So, you may want to go do whatever it is you people will do, and then come see me in a few days. A few days?! Yep, that's why I said. Ah, fair enough. You need us to fetch you anything? Money? Essence? Parts of dead animals? Souls? Goodness, woman, don't be so volatile! I think I got everything I need, but thank you. Come back here a few days, I'll have these sexy molds all ready for you, okay? Oh god. That sounds questionable. Don't mention it. Oh no. Like, seriously though, don't mention it. To like, ANYBODY! <laughs> okay? So, a few days. Well, at least we can look around. Go back to Trino and see if we can- okay. So let's grab these stuff and things first before you go. A few days. Oh, great. You better have them ready, or else I'm gonna have an arrow in his head by the time we're done here. Unless he's required for a quest, then we can use him for the quest and then kill him. I mean, let's do these secret, secret labs. There's no teleport spot here either, so we have to go the long way. Oh, never mind. There's a convenient teleport spot right here. Was it here like two minutes ago? I mean, I'm fine with this. It's a nice clean teleport spot back to Trino again. This is a fetch quest episode. I feel it. I feel it. All right. Well, here we are again. Back in Trino for the third time. 
well, on screen for like the third time. Because, yeah. Alright, we got a guy on the thing. What are we getting next? What stupid location do I have to go to? Says it'll take a couple of days, so we figured we'd get a jump start the next time right on the list. That is wonderful news! Next time I need you to Really? Okay, so I have to go make 15 more of them. And I say 15 more because off screen! While I was making all the others so working on fortifying my equipment a little bit more. I also made five AP farm glyphs for when I do grinding. If I find enemies that are even worth the time to grind off of, because you know how it goes. So anyway, yeah, I made five of those, and that required 15 for things. So this is the easiest item, because I have plenty of rune essences. I have to sell these gems soon, but whatever. I can do that. I already have... No, wait, that's two. I'm dumb. So we just need to make 15 of these. No, that won't take long. That was like a grand total of like five minutes. Not even. Two minutes. Unless some other thing happens that goes wrong, and then we have to go on a fetch quest, but no. There we go, done! Let's go. <laughs> Job's done. Let's go. Alright, Elder, I got your rune essences! Catalyst, whatever. You are very resourceful. Good work. Thank you. Alright, so what's next? What stupid location you had to go to this time? So, what else do you have to go fetch? This next one's going to be a trick and will require you to get your hands dirty. Okay, go on. The core region of these weapons, as you, you already know, souls. I figured that'd be the case, but I can't help but think how evil that sounds. You're right that, in a way, we are doing something that can be seen as evil. This is why we're very selective with the souls that we use for this process. What kind of souls do you use? The souls of the wildlife that have been tainted by the darkness. I see. These creatures have lost what made them truly alive. The souls we gather from them are already fragmented and broken, so in a way we're doing them a favor. That still sounds immoral, but I can see your justification. How do you even collect their souls? I mean, we've already we slaughtered hundreds of creatures on our journey, and I would see you remember every single soul, you know, pop out of them. That's because you don't have this yet. A soul horn! <laughs> he tosses it over the table! If you blow this horn after slaying enemy, it's soul be pulled to the horn. This is how he collects souls for our special argument armaments and rituals. So... Is the bo this the boring part where we go out and grind a bunch of battles with monsters, collect their souls to make our weapons? Well, I figured. Let's knock out two birds with one stone instead. What do you mean by that? You all came through Piatra City to get here, correct? Yeah. How many Imperial dogs roam the city? I don't know. A few dozen, maybe? What do you think about gathering a few of your Magi friends from the Enclave place and a few of my Trino Guardians and running those bastards out of the city? Ooh, I'm a fan of this! Wow, are you serious? You bet I'm serious! The Empire has its cronies located all over the damn place! I say it's time we kick them out! I love this idea. Yeah, thank you, Luna. After my amazing acting debut, you want us to kill off my first few fans? Your fans are Imperial soldiers, Trish. Get hold of yourself. Is it for you to say? Because you don't have any fans. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let the Trino Guardians know of our plan. Go and speak to your people in the Enclave. We'll get this party started. Oh, ho, ho, this is the part I'm liking. The part where we go murder people for literally every good reason. That and I can finish the quest, too. So, you know. We really are killing two birds with one stone. So, back to the Enclave. I mean, this time I'm not going to complain about the fact that we're just mindlessly traveling about because we get to go kill people. I mean, it's finally time for revenge. After all the bullshit the Empire's been doing, we finally get to take the fight to them. I can just go in. The screens are expecting. Okay, cool. Like, I don't know if Raku's supposed to be an old man because I've been giving him the old man voice because that beard. So, I'm, once again, prepare your ear holes for the old man voice. <clears throat> I'm very pleased to see that you have all returned to us safely once again! I hope that your journey to find your friends turned out to be fruitful! 
Turned out even better than that! Oh, is that so? You bet! The party tells the Supremes about the Soul Force, the Trino Guardians, the plan to take back Piatra City. Oh ha! You've all been busy! Well, I me to proudly say we are completely on board you! Helping you reclaim Piatra City! It's probably because he just wants to keep gambling. I mean, what? That's what I like to hear. Will you be able to contribute to this mission? I'm glad you asked! Have you noticed the Sentinel station all over the Enclave? Yeah. The ones we have stationed here are programmed for more defensive fighting, but with a few tweaks, we can create a few Sentinels that can help you out on the battlefield. Oh my gosh, we got the big motherfucking dudes? I'm glad you think so! Take this to Demetrius and the Magi Research Center and you'll begin the preparations! The work orders. Okay, thanks, dude. Once you take care of that, return to Trino and let your friends there and know that we will send the signal we ready to advance the mission. You got it. Thank you so much, Raku. The portrait is mine, Luna! The Empire will fall one piece at a time! <laughs> yeah! Ah ha ha! Alright, let's go. The research center is right over here because I walked into it like seven times already. Hey, Palio! I know you said that you didn't have anything for me right now, but I've got something for you. Hello there. What brings you to the Magi Research Center? Supreme Rock, you sent us here to give you this. Uh huh. Battle Sentinels? I've been asking for the chance to make one of these for ages! This will be my greatest work yet, I promise you! The work order calls for four Sentinels. Oh dear. What's the matter? Oh, here we go. Well, ever since the Enclave retracted their Magi spies from the towns and cities around the world, we've been free. Oh, here we go. What do you need? We need rune essences and a large amount of it. Each central is going to take at least. F Jesus Christ! We also need to gather 12 obsidian orbs, which are mined from obsidian rock formations. Where do we get those? Our very own Mirage Oasis! I take a dark and gloomy dungeon over that oasis again, if I'm being completely honest. I know. I know. Lucky for you, they're typically found fairly close to the portal to the Enclave, so you won't have to go too far in. I suppose that makes things a little better. Okay, well, you're going to need a pickaxe to mine those orbs. We got one right here. Silly humans and their silly weak metals. Here, have me that pickaxe for a second. Okay. Just going to make a small modification to it. There we go. Now this is a pickaxe. A magic tip pickaxe. Okay, thanks. Okay, now go to the Mirage Oasis, get me 12 obsidian orbs, 2,000 runes, that's and come back and see me, okay? You got it. Oh my gosh. Is this really going to be the Patch Quest episode? I'm probably going to say the big fun destroy the ma destroy the Empire part for next episode then. So, you know, look forward to that. So now let's just do the rest of the Patch Quest. I mean, this whole sequence is one gigantic fetch quest, when you think long and hard about it. Alright, so here we are, back in Mirage Oasis. I have plenty of rune essences. 7,500. I mean, taking a bit of a dent in those won't be the worst thing ever. And I'm pretty sure there is no boss here, and these enemies are weak enough at this point where I can probably just destroy them all. So, we're gonna put on our AP Farm Gloves. It lowers my power a little bit, but, you know, w when you think of the long-term effects of the fact that I'm gonna be getting more AP from fights, then I think it's fine if I take off my super good stuff right now, because we're not going into an area where there are dangerous enemies that will literally obliterate me 30 ways Saturday. That, and I need the AP anyway. So, hey, let's go. We have ore to mine. And there should be one very close by. Yeah, here we go. Here's one. Oh, there's th we get three. Okay, wow. This is going to be a lot faster than I thought. Because I remember wondering what was up with these weird rocks. So I guess we've got our answer. And the others should be not that far. Because there's already one right here. Where are the enemies at, though? Uh, 
Alright. One should be up here or to the left. No, it was to the... Oh, hi. I wish to be left alone. Uh. So that's where he went. That explains a lot. Alright. Well, let's finish up our business here when they get back. There are literally no enemies anymore. Well, there we go. Back to the Enclave. Wait, we really? Where are? Th <sighs> Fine then. Fine then. I see. I see the games you like to play. Game. I see the games you like to play. Fine. I'll put on all my stupidly good stuff. Cause we're not going to be able to find the guys we're supposed to hunt down. In order to get more experience points. All I want to do is get more experience points. Well, let's go. It's not that far of a walk back. I swear, if I run into encounters literally on the way back after I took off the eight people, he farm. Then I'm going to be kind of pissed. Of course, they're all gone! All of them! Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Well, we're already back. So back to the Enclave. Alright, pal, I got your things! And your... 2,000 rune essences. There weren't enemies to grind rune essences off of because, you know, they all just suddenly vanished in thin air. Which I have got. How's the Sushkra Subsidian Orbs coming along? Got them all right here. And the 2,000 rune essences? Got that too. Great work! All of you. I'll start creating the Sentinels right away. How many of you think it will take to have them ready? Because they're made of magic, it doesn't take long at all. A few hours at most. I'll send a messenger your way when they're good to go. Great, thank you. Alright, oh my god, I actually pressed the button. Alright, so I guess we just go back to the Supremes and tell Raku, Oh hey, we got the things. Should we do while we wait? Can we go visit my dad? He's staying over in the hotel last time I checked. Okay. Let's go see Minerva's dad, I guess. And tell him we're gonna go bring the fight to the Empire. And put his daughter in mortal danger again. Because, you know, that's just what we love to do on a daily basis. Putting Minerva in mortal danger. Meanwhile, all I care about is getting a picture. Hi there, Jaimo! How you doing? Come back! Yeah. How was your trip to Trino? It was good. That place is beautiful as I remembered. I have not been keeping up with them in it. Thing else you've all been up to. So who do you what do you have next on your agenda? You wouldn't believe how far the resistance is coming along. We went to Trino, and then she explained everything. Yeah. <laughs> so the time has come. The resistance is truly going to take the fight back to the Empire. It brings me great pride to know my daughter is playing an integral role in this feat, even though the main villain wants to kill her. This whole thing wouldn't have happened if, if what would have begun if it weren't for Luna and Damien. The honor belongs to them. That is kind of true, to be honest. Have you shared the news with Miranda? Speaking of Miranda, we haven't seen her since we left for Twilight Temple. You have no way she's at? I haven't seen her either either, now that you mention it. She might be working on some sort of mission with the Supremes. Yeah, you're probably right. We'll make sure to tell her about this next time we see her. I have a bad feeling about this! Huh? Hello there. Magic resistance. Researcher Demetrius awaits you within the Enclave Magi Research Center. Welp, that was quick. We barely did anything and they already, they're already ready. Well, meanwhile, yeah, we're going to give those Imperial bastards hell. Alright, well, let's, so back we go. The ultimate travel episode. That is why I'm going to title this. No question. Because literally, that's all we've done. 
is walk around. I have not gotten into it a single encounter in this entire episode, but, you know, the next episode's gonna be chock full of murdering Imperials, so, you know, that'll be fun. Oh, here they are! Oh, boy! Okay. Bit quiet, you know, I guess. Wait, why did you say... Okay, no, I thought one of them said Guard Sentinel. I'm sure you already saw the test sentinels out in the lobby. What do you think of them? I'm pretty excited to see them on the battlefield. Sure, they're going to be a huge help out there. You bet they will be. Supreme Rocker says we'll begin the final preparation of the mission and then send word to you once we're ready. Go back to your friend Trino and tell them we'll be joining you all shortly. Alright. So back to Trino because, you know, we gotta have an episode where we do nothing but walk around. <laughs> Seriously, though. Alright. Back to the portal station, because I can't just use that one right there to travel. No, we gotta go over here. Where everywhere else, where I can just walk over to this totally not suspicious little blue thing. And then just warp to wherever the hell I want, as long as I've been there before. Because that's typically how teleporting works in any RPG. You have to have been there first in order to travel there. Well, except for the fact that Raku likes to gamble, but he doesn't have a teleport stop. But directly in Piatro, but you know, whatever. I guess. <laughs> Alright, boyo! It's time! Oh, and he's got his dudes, too. Welcome back, everyone. Hope your trip to the Enclave proved to be useful. You're gonna be so excited when you see the super awesome robot things they made for us? Robots? They're created for battle sentinels for us to use. Interesting. They're these giant magical constructs the Enclave uses a defense mechanism, but they built a new combat prototype for us to use on our mission. Piatra City will be freed from the Empire soon enough! Do you like gambling there too? I will spare you four of my Trino Guardians for your mission. There should be more than enough to handle the numbers you report in Piatra City. Unless those numbers like tripled! Just out of curiosity, Elder. What do the colors your Trino Guardmen wear? Wear mean? You have a thirst for knowledge, Damien. I can appreciate that. The colors of Trio Guardians were reveal the power of, or powers they were able to unlock via the Soul Forge ritual process. These Trino Guardians pick control the Earth in one way or another, hence their earthly orange color. I see. That's an interesting way to do it. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome, Damien. Any other questions for your Enclave friends reach out and we get this mission on a roll? Were you a Trino Guardian before you got all old and wrinkly? <laughs> yes. That I was. Every elder's town was once a Trino Guardian. How did you become the elder of this town? I was the most powerful Trino Guardian of my time. Every Trino Guardian has a chance to become the next elder, but only the most powerful gets to wield the title of Elder. Wow. So, you must have been amazing when you were younger, and now you look exactly like Elder Jibo. I will not brag about my accomplishments, but I was a force to be reckoned with in my youth, that's for sure. Elder, a message from the Enclave has arrived. Operation Liberate Piatro is never just commence. Thank you, Sion. Well, very well then. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna assume they're not going to just teleport me over there. That's the spirit! Oh, please don't teleport me over there. Please. 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 Please! Damn it! <laughs> Okay, I think it's just gonna happen now, so let's wait, and if something happens, we're doing a two-part episode. Anything to report? No, sir! Why are we even guarding the self interest of the city? There's literally nothing but desert south of here. It makes no sense. It's a direct order from Magister Zart. We're not to question it. Just do your damn job! Oh, it's happening, boys! Wonder attack! Enemy detected. What in the hell? No! Eliminate that. The coast is clear. Great work, everybody. We're just getting started. Once you make it to see, we Trino Guardians will focus on the indoor locations. Your party and the Sentinel should take care of the soldiers that are outdoors. You got it. Just give us the signal and we'll do our part. Affirmative. Let's go, Trino Guardians! You all ready to take back this city? Those Empire dogs are going down! Same! I mean them. Them going down. Not me. Like, same thing Ryudo said. 
Uh, just forget I say anything. With pleasure. Hope that victory here sent a message to the Empire that we're not messing around. Let this be a first step in reclaiming our world and putting a stop to these murderous barbarians. Let's do this. Please, please don't make me do it now. Please. Please. Please, 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 please. please, please. Or we're just going to do the Liberty Piatro episode today. Depends. Oh, well, it looks like we're doing Operate Liberty Piatro. All right, boys, bring it on. Get your asses over here. Alright, wow, look at that background, though. Alright, let's use usual strats. Because I can probably get away with it. My MP is stupidly low! Alright, I'm just gonna Wyvern Strike instead of Raining Arrows. Wow, you have a lot of health. I'm gonna kill you first. And we're just gonna do usual stuff. And now we have... A super fun time skill from Minerva, too. We can use that, too. I mean, it's not like I'm using her TP for anything else. Alright. Let's see how it goes. Let's invoke the darkness within! And then we just die. Alright, and you know, you don't have a fun time move, so we're just gonna body slam you. So that way he doesn't do anything dangerous. And then we'll just shadow slice. Imperial Strike! Imperial Cleave! Nice to see that their move variety hasn't changed at all! Like, seriously, it's literally the same that they've always been using. Alright, usual strats, we're gonna lower their defense, and we need MP, like, really badly. So we'll also use this. Fear strike! A regular attack. Wow. Damien still needs, like, MP badly. Alright, let's smite him. Give me a good one! Okay, that is not a good one! Why do I even bother asking at this point? Okay, I didn't kill him, but whatever. We have Obliterate. Hating almighty powers, right? So let's just use it. And now we blow them up, because of course we do. The fact that the other dude attacks before Trish is a bit problematic, but we should be able to get past it. Alright, one guy's dead. Got all this equipment. Alright. Ryudo, I'm actually just gonna go, like, in. We're just gonna go in on this guy over here. Hero Strike! Regular attack! Wow, nice to see you've got your skills all straightened out. Alright, let's just spam Winchy then. Cause we definitely need the MP. Wait, what? You're. Wow. Wow. Um. Okay, you're a lot weaker than I thought. Wow, these guys aren't even that bad anymore. Alright, bye!
Uh, okay, there we go. This is gonna get me closer to another level. And we got some equipment! And soul fragments! Another powerful re You know, off screen, I mean, I got rid of all my powerful relics. Alright. Yeah, fuck those guys. Wait, come. Can I come over here and kill these guys? Or are they. Oh no, you're, you're a solid object. You know, look at that stuff off screen. Bring it! Alright, boys, are you ready for a fun time? Because I'm ready for a fun time, and it's called I Have Fury. And my TP is high enough that I can literally get away with abusing the skill. Like, literally, I can spend 30 TP to use these skills and then have them ready to go for the next fight because I'm not going to kill them all in one turn, guaranteed. Well, except maybe Minerva and Luna. All right, we're uh, we're basically just going to do the same strategy in all these fights, unless there's a boss. But you know, these are all story required fights, so you know, I'm going to show them all. But literally, I can do all oh my high there. Okay, lower Minerva's health. I don't care, boy -o. You're just sealing your own fate. But yeah, literally, I can get away with using the same strategy in all of these fights. And because these guys are literally enemies that we've fought a lot of before. They aren't that bad. I plus we got this snazzy music in the background where we fight these guys and completely destroy them all. I mean, we can always use Darkness Falls. See, I'm gonna use Darkness Falls. Because Invoke, apparently, gives you guaranteed craze for three turns. Which is always nice. I'm actually gonna save my Ultima. Actually, you know what? Fuck everything. Use it. <laughs> Fuck everything. Use it! That just means Minerva can tank a hit. Now I can use Darkness Balls again next turn. You know what? I'm just gonna attack you first. Get the small fries out of the way. Hero strike. Hero strike. Look at that. Minerva just ate it. What's damage to Minerva? Alright, and I need MP. So. I should attack both of them. Give them both a taste of their own medicine. Okay, nice crit, pal. I just need to stock up TP with Luna, so then next fight we can literally do the same thing. What are This is like ridiculous how I can abuse the same strategy, but then again, that's like a thing in any RPG. You find the strat, and then you basically auto win every fight. Outside bosses. Bosses actually do kind of force you to rely on other skills than the usual use like the first same five skills and you basically win everything <laughs> but you know it's fun trying to find new strategies to win that's why I like Fire Emblem because outside of specific units that are literally oh my gosh I because outside of using specific units that are just like literally the definition of suck Example of like Sophia. Like so a unit that is so useless that they would literally have no viable use in a run. Like that. 
I love how we're doing this just for the purpose of getting, getting souls to, you know, blow up people with later. Oh, and he's dead. And we're overcharged, not like it matters. Alright, well that's another fight. We're gonna level up soon. Probably at the end of by the end of this we're gonna level up. Alright, boys, bring it on. Uh this guy looks different. Oh no, it's just a Oh, okay, I see here. Yeah, this is a definite case of use raining arrows because raining arrows is actually really good. And then Damien, you just do the usual. Oh my god, your MV is so high. You know what? This small fire won't be doing that much to me, so let's just kill the big guys first. Yo, I also realized too that Minerva has drain, so if my TP does get low, I can literally just use that and get more of it back. I mean, it doesn't increase my overture. Wait, it does. Actually, I'm mine, I'm a dummy. So, if my TP ever does get low, Minerva, I can literally just use drain. Oh, and speaking of which, I'll probably slam you because I'm not attacking you right now. And then we can just go for the old attack. But now I have to take four attacks. Uh-huh. Oh god. Oh boy. Hi. Glad to see that their move arsenal has not changed whatsoever. Some things never change, do they? I mean, then again, I, I'm one to talk using the same strategy every fight to win. But then again, I'm different. I'm the one playing the game, so I'm totally allowed to use the same strategy to win every fight. Okay, Imperial Strike. Oh my god, that actually hurts me. Alright, now we just spam Weapon Strike. And Damien, you just smite. But that still restores a healthy amount of health. And then we can just ult out because, yeah, I should be overcharged after this attack. Oh boy, we are. Alright. So let's do the old thing. And it's called Blow Them Up because I have free will doing it. I mean, I could use Curse Touch before I blow them up with Ultima. But, you know, that would require me actually being strategic. But, you know, I'm totally not strategic at all. Uh, you know what? This one guy is gonna live. So I don't want to take four attacks. I'd rather only take two attacks. So let's get him out of here. Imperial Strike. Imperial Strike. Okay, well, Minerva literally just ate that, so we don't need to worry about the damn thing. So let's boost our damage. And, yeah, you die first. Imperial Strike. Okay. Bye. Easy. Look at all this good equipment I'm getting. I'm not getting any gems, which is a bit disappointing because I still need a lot of those. Mmm, thanks, dude. That even gave me. <laughs> that gave me a lot. So let's wound him, too. Hero Cleave! Imperial Strike. Okay. Like, dude, you literally aren't that threatening. 
And now it's used guy and tide because, you know, I actually need excuses to use this skill. Alright, bye, pal! Wow, he actually lived that. That's a meme. Get out of here. There we go! Look at all this good equipment I'm getting! But gosh, it's gonna take me like 30 years to look through them all. Alright, so how many more are there left? Seven. Oh, and looks like this fight's gonna be all small fries. Yeah, four of them. Alright, well then, you asked for it! They're all about to get this work. I mean, they have a lot of health, which makes it, like, physically impossible to kill them all in one turn. Because there's no instant death skills in this game, as far as I know. Well, actually, I do know, because I have literally every skill every party member can get, except for Yudo. Because he doesn't have a special skill yet. So there is no instant kill skills in this game. Well, as far as I'm aware, because, you know, some final bossy enemy could easily have an instant kill skill and just murder my whole party in, like, three turns. You know what, let's use this too. If I'm going to blow them up with Ultima, I may as well, right? Change up the strategy a little bit. When I don't even need to, because let's be realistic here. Alright, let's body slam you. And then I can obliterate next turn, because we Shadow Slice. And then Trish, you know what to do. All you do is take four attacks from weak enemies, so yeah, we're totally fine. Because compared to the green dudes, these guys are nothing. Plus, I'm getting MP back in return by using Poison Chi. Okay. Okay. Four. Okay. Okay. Alright. Time for you to start dropping like flies. And you just... Let's start spreading out the damage. So let's use Darkness Pulse on one of these guys. They have more health because I haven't been focusing on them at all. Alright, now it's time for a Bowl of the Mop time! AKA everyone's favorite. Oh, wait, I can't use Master Aces. Oh, I don't have enough. To okay, well. That's what we have these for. Because Mass Taster just makes me powerful. I'm impressed we haven't had any more incidents of Minerva disappearing whenever I use Metastasis. Because I think it only happened to me once. And it was hilarious when it happened. Hmm, now look at that shield build up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please. Okay, one's dead. Jesus Christ, look at that. Got about 800 out of that. Alright. You know what? Having stronger attacks with three turns is always nice. Gone. And Trish, I don't know what you can do. We're just gonna switch the title. Get MP. So we're ready for the next fight. I mean, the more MP I have, the safer I end up being. Long term. Alright, speaking of which. He's dead. And you're next. So next fight, I should, theoretically, get a level. Alright, we're gonna drain. Because I'm gonna need the TP for the next fight. Hmm, 
thanks, dude. Alright, and now Ryudo, you do the you do the old thing. And then Trish, we're gonna switch over to Solar and then blow him up. Well first let's use Gaitai. Wow, that alone almost killed him. Totally fine with this! Bye. Oh, I'm up now! Okay, well, I'm fine with this. More power is very much appreciated. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, gosh. And that AP, too. Delicious. Alright, well, they're dead. Oh. Of course. Of course one of them is a big guy. You dare stand against the might of the Empire? Not much less standing, is there? Huh! Don't be so coy at me, you freak-loving slime! You morons don't even know when to give up, do you? You must be adamant about joining the rest of these dead soldiers in hell! Let's not keep him waiting, then. Bring it on! Wow, he actually has a health bar. <laughs> I mean, I should be a little intimidated, because this guy has a health bar, which means he's probably going to be intimidating. But, you know, honestly, I still don't care. I still don't care. Honestly, I'm also gonna use Critical Focus. Let's mix it up a little, because this guy is special. You know what? I'm also gonna use Hunter's Mark. And now we blow them up. Alright, Damien, you know what to do. So literally, I'll just have Luna focus on that guy, and then everyone else will kill the other dudes. Once they're dead, all we have to focus on is the big guy. And I'm actually going to use Curse Touch because, you know, that skill is actually pretty useful for racking up damage. I mean, let's remember, I made a box to literally drop dead and die in one attack. He only got to do one thing and then he just died. It was hilarious. Alright, you know what? Change of plans. I'm gonna buy Semi first. So that way, whatever you want to do to me isn't as scary. And we'll just attack. Imperial Strike. And his favorite move, Imperial Cleave. They sure love this skill. They sure love Trish. Imperial Onslaught. Wow, actually, Trish died. Well then, that sucks. I'm actually not even going to revive her yet. I'm just going to attack. Alright, Damien. We need to change up strats. I'm actually a separate Radiance, too. I mean, Trish isn't gonna get it, but, you know, I guess, whatever. We have items. We have items! I also have Darkness Falls, so I'm gonna use it. And now we can blow them up! Which is my favorite part! I can't use metastasis, but whatever, I guess. This fight's gonna take longer than three turns. Alright, now Ryudo, you gotta do the old thing. And by the old thing, I mean... Vitality! Jesus Christ, Ryudo, you have way too much health. Alright. Let's attack you. He's dead next turn. Imperial Strike. Imperial Strike. Another one. Another one. Uh-oh. 
Okay. Well, at least they can only attack twice. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother healing. Because the less these guys there are in the way, the better. But just for safety's sake, I'm gonna heal Trish. And then we'll attack. Unless this guy can call in dudes, we should be fine after he's dead. Alright, let's use Darkness Falls. And let's use... What's Soul Trigger now? Because Minerva needs health. And I can get Absorption Shield out of it. Yo, know, just so I can tank hits for free. I'm just gonna wound. You know what? No. Just attack. And then Trish, you know what to do. The old strats. And it's called Affect Everyone with Everything That Could Happen Bad to Them. Dampen magic is useless because they're not using magic, they're using only physical skills, so, you know. Oh god. And this is why this was a good idea! Uh-oh. I love how Ryuto literally just tanked all of that! Without any issues. He's like, oh hey, what's happening guys? Oh wow. That's, that's sure happening. Okay, Fury's worn off, so I'm just gonna go for the old barrage. And you're dead. Okay, well maybe he's not dead. Yet. Now he is. All right, Bilaro, it's just you versus four people, five people. I know how to numbers. So, how about you just kill over and die for me? I mean, it's gonna take a while. He has 43,000 HP. We're gonna be here for a few minutes. But, you know, patience is a virtue for when we kill guys. So let's use this. Get all those debuffs on him. All of them. And let these guy in time to extend them. Pyro Strike! Pyro Cleave! Alright, pal. What are you gonna do? Like, I can literally sit here and take pot shots at him until he eventually kills over. Let's use the vampirism. And then we can blow him up next turn. Cool. And let's let's get all those debuffs on him. Every one I can get. I mean this guy is all alone now. His skills are very basic. There isn't much you can do to me. Okay, we'll accept that. Dude, you're trying to hurt Ryudo. Don't get cocky! Instinct? Wait a minute! I recognize that move! Where'd you learn that? It was taught to me by another than General Armand! What to do, you Magi sympathizer? General Armand? That's the monster who took my wife and kid! Oh yes, I know who you are! You're that fool who left the Empire to live with a devil worshipping witch! You shut your damned mouth! <laughs> well, I'll finish what we started years ago! You'll be seeing your dead family soon Wow, dude, that's a little much, don't you think? You'll regret those words, you bastard! Wait, what?! My boy Ryudo, though! We're doing this in the middle of a boss fight, too! I mean, technically, 
Is this a boss fight? Huh! You learn quick! It's no surprise to me why you were so revered as a fighter before you turned into a traitor! No matter, I'll deliver your head to the Empress myself! Wait, does that mean my equipment gets screwed with during the fight? That's kind of ridiculous, I hope it doesn't. But real quick, I need to see what this does. Though who unrivaled instinct, attack and agility increased by 15% in addition to all attacks except obliterate. We'll add three stacks of bloodlust to Ryudo. Aha! Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We're gonna cripple shot because, yeah, I don't like the fact that you have an attack boost now. And we're gonna use Holy Fire 2 because all those damage bonuses. Hmm. Look at all that damage. Commander Strike! Oh, he gets three attacks now. Bloody Slash! Oh, his moves are completely changed now! Okay, no, he's attacking me like a bunch of times. What the heck, dude? Okay, yeah, this is getting bad. We need to hit him hard now. Oh, and because this is instant, I'm gonna use it. And then we blow him up. Plus, it lowers my HP, so an Ultima will be even stronger. Wait! Oh, no! He gets absorption shields now! That's dumb! Okay, now you have to die. Alright, yeah, you definitely have to go. So, let us use this. And Trish, you just keep on doing what you're doing. Okay, yeah, this is getting dicey. This is getting a little dicey. Alright, so let's use Blessing so we can get more Echoes of Life. And then we need to purify everything. Alright, now we've purified literally everything. Let's heal. And then, pray to God this guy doesn't blow me up with like his 30 attacks! Because, yeah, he has, like, 30 attacks. All right, can we get some ice blessing? That is a good one! I can pass that on. Commander Strike! Commander Strike! Commander Strike! Okay. Oh, no. Oh, bye, Manoa. Wow, dude, you need to, like, cut that shit out. <laughs> you really need to stop. Let's buy slam him. Wow, straight up broke through his thing. Alright. Minerva's still in the middle of the- <sighs> Nice design decision right there, boys and girls. Alright. I'm gonna soldier gun now. I mean, Ryudo is basically a literal damage sponge now. Alright, let's use Hunter's Mark. Gonna have to do the big damage. Hmm, look at that big damage. Alright. Damien, I kinda need you to revive Minerva, but I also wanna heal. I'm gonna revive Minerva. Okay, she got put back to where she was supposed to be. Good. <laughs> I thought I just encountered a weird bug. Commander Strike! Another one! Another one! Bloody Slash! Hero Cleave! Okay, as long as I can live the turn, we're fine. I live the turn, we're fine. But now you still have... Damn it. Okay. 
Wow, I didn't even break it. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna use this now. All right, let's attack. There we go. Don't think I'm going to let you win so easily! Let's see you cast your magic now, devil worshippers! What did you do to me? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, actually go fuck yourself, guy. Wait, whoa, he took away all my MP! What the hell? He's allowed to do that? Actually, go fuck yourself! Wow, that's ridiculous. To like a max degree. Well, it's a good thing I have these. Because I kind of need that MP to, you know, not die. Alright, I don't have enough to purify my whole party. So we're just going to attack. Well, actually, no. We can do this instead. And now I don't have any MP to heal her. To attack. So let's just attack. Alright, Minerva, you can't exactly- Well, actually, we can invoke. You know what? Let's invoke. Because the fun thing about Minerva is, her skills cost HP to use! I don't need to care at all about my MP. And speaking of which, I can always use this. Thought you could drain my MP? Commander Strike. Another one. Another one. Dude, Ryuru is an actual damage sponge. Okay. Okay. Calm down, dude. Hero Strike. And Trish, well, we have Mastery, which I'm freely able to use, and we can literally just switch to Tile Tantra and start getting our MP back. Because, you know, I kind of need that. And even if I'm not actually hurting him, I still get MP back, which is always fine. Alright, you know, wow, we can literally obliterate. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it! Because, you know, damage. I was not expecting there to be a boss fight to, hey? Alright, pal. Are you ready to die? Because next turn, you're going down. you could lower my MP, did ya? Well, think again, Buster Brown, because you're about to get fucked. I mean, yeah, sure, my attacks are not doing as much as I would like, but, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter that much. So now we ult him up, because, yeah, I have this. He probably will not die this turn, and Minerva's probably going to go down, but, you know, we still have Ryudo, and Ryudo, I think he deserves this... this moment. Alright, so what are you going to do, pal? Bloody Slash! Okay. Commander Strike! Another one! Another one! And Imperial Cleave! Yep, bye Minerva! I mean, it's not like it matters that much, I still get experience for winning anyway. Jesus Christ, dude. I hate your stupid absorption shield! Just fuck off with that. Alright, let's berserk her stance. And let's body slam, just so his next attack is weaker. And let's shadow slice. 
Alright, well, Ryuda's not gonna get the kill like I wanted him to, but, you know, he's still dead. Bye. Neck yourself, guy. You'll make a nice addition to our weapons! In hell! And I got stuff. And another invigorating relics because I totally need more of those. Well, that's all of them. The city has been liberated to the Imperial Presence. The mission was a success. I can't believe we actually did with such a small group. The Empress is going to be so mad when she hears about this. Hope she pops a few blood vests in the evil head of hers when she does. We will send work back to Elder Quill and Ronchino and a few of us will remain here to pa- Hoop, I ain't behind to help repair the city. We'll report to our allies over in the Enclave. Think it'd be a guy to leave the Sentinels here for now, just in case. Good call, Luna. Let's go report back to the Supreme and see what to do next. Will you report to the Elder once you visit the- <laughs> So offense to the Enclave is complete. Yes. We'll go back to Trino as soon as we can. Very well. May Brahman be with you all. Okay, everyone, let's go share the great news. Please don't tell me when you're straight there. Please. I want to I, I wanna take the picture. I WANT TO TAKE THE PICTURE! God damn it! I'm a lost words on how to express just how happy and impressed I am with your work over Piatra City. Don't think that a small group could liberate a city full of Imperial soldiers is no ordinary feat. It felt good to show this bastard that they were starting to war with the wrong people. Hope is there this blood-guzzling maniacs realize what they're up to against, too. Which brings me to the next subject! Would you mind, Jinzo? Sure thing, Raku. I forgot what voice I gave this guy. I won't bore you with the minute details, so I'll just get straight to the point. We believe that Zale and his blood magic have infiltrated the Enclave. What? How? Is everything okay? Are we safe here? You need not worry. We have resecured the whole Enclave. Nobody but those with authority to use the Enclave teleports can come in or out at this point. Who was it? How did you find out? Oh, they were here. Those fiends. They tricked all of us. They got into the Enclave by sneaking into Miranda's bo- WHAT?! Miranda?! Surak's village. That blood magi who saved her. I should have known! What exactly happened here while we were gone? Well, soon after we all left the trio to speak to the Elder, Miranda came by inquiring about COSMOS! I'm sorry, I have to say it like that because it's in all caps. We thought nothing of it. Miranda had always been one of her most trusted field spies, and her curious mind had always been one of her strongest assets. She said she wanted to study the relic to see if we can learn more about its power. We, of course, gave her permission to enter the sacred vault of the Enclave to study the relic. Many hours had passed, and we heard nothing from her, so I went to go check on her. When I went to the vault, both she and the relic were gone. What does that have to do with the Zale? How do you know he was a part of this? Because she left us this note. Why would you leave a note? Uh-oh, here we go. It reads, If you are wondering, Miranda's suffrage is immense. Soon, the world will feel her pain. Bring me Minerva and I'll spare this wretched world. Refuse, and I'll show you what devastating your precious COSMOS can bring. Luna softly placed her hand on Miss Minerva's slumped shoulder. Did he say what he wanted to do with the- where he wanted to do the exchange? What are you planning? There was no way we're giving him what he wants! I never said we were going to! Let's not forget that we're in the middle of creating ourselves some very powerful weapons over in Trino. And if I recall correctly, when you told us something about the powers of Supreme, didn't you mention one key thing that you're all forgetting about? As the new Supreme comes to power, the current Supreme loses theirs. He's getting weaker. As Minerva's powers grow and manifest as Supreme, HIS powers wane. If that bastard dares to fight us with Minerva and our new weapons, we'll crush him like a bug. Uh-huh. Even so, I think you underestimate the sword power of Zale wields. But, you aren't completely wrong either. I don't know what that teleports to a cosmos, but I don't care to find out either. We will need to come up with a sound plan though, though there is too much of there is too much of risk here. Good, because we're not backing down. Fair enough. I suppose if my plan is going to work, then we'll need to make sure you complete these special weapons you speak of. Return to Trino to do everything you can to create those weapons as fast as possible! We will come up with a plan to deal with the Zale! There's so much at stake here and we do not have much time to spare! I truly hope we can jump into action before he does anything crazy! We'll do what we can. We expect you will too. 
Very well then, Luna. We'll do whatever we can as well. Okay, everybody, let's head back to the tree and get those weapons made. We gotta get teleport straight over there. Because I kind of want to end the episode. Okay, there we go. Okay. Do we get in a tree? No, we didn't. So that's not the boss for the trophy. Oh, well, that's great. That's great. So there's another boss that we have to worry about. Okay, so I think at the very least we can go finish up our business with the one quest. I'm actually going to go heal first because, you know, I may as well take advantage of the Enclave's free healthcare. <laughs> may as well. And then we're going to go back and get the picture. Hey there. Yeah. I love free healing. It is the most glorious thing. I apologize for this episode being super long. I didn't think we were going to jump straight to the fighting. I thought I would have had a chance to, like, save and prepare and all that good stuff. But nope, we go straight in there. And then, you know, lots of people died that day. But, you know, I guess it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back to Piatro, get that picture taken, and then we should be able to finish the quest. And get that one trophy. I mean, now I have to fix Ryudo's equipment because it probably got screwed up. Yep, I was right. They took off his glyph. And I don't even remember what accessory he had on. So I'll give him... Huh. I don't know what to give him. Well, I'll give him... this, and then we'll give him... Oh god, I have too many relics. Give him this one. Wait, didn't it say I have more than one accessory slot? <laughs> What's the wrong thing? Alright, the first accessory is still there. Okay, we're fine. So let's go to... Piatra City Outskirts. Alright, good, we can come here. Uh, alright, there we go. Do I have to take a picture of inside? Where's the spot for the picture? Right here? Ow. Piotr Casino picture! Alright, we got all three pictures. And so we have to go back to Trina right anyway, where you're literally killing two birds with one stone. I mean, this is the last time I ever have to come to the casino, though. Unless I want to get more items. What? I can't even believe we actually did it! We kicked the Empire at Piatro. Alright, but before we go back, I want to check something. Okay. Never mind. I don't know when this Desert Hermit quest comes up, but it should be soon. Alright. Now we're here, we're going to turn in this real quick, and then we'll end things off. I'm pretty sure he was in the... Not the item shop. Over here. Hi there. How's the picture taking? picture taking going? We have them all. Awesome! I can't wait to see them! Lou heads up the camera and the three pictures she took. That cat is a little creepy. Is something the matter? You asked, you took selfies in each of these places. Ha! <laughs> uh isn't that how you're supposed to take pictures? Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Here's a little something for your time. Oh okay, well thanks, dude. And I got the trophy for finishing five quests. 
That cat is a- He's moonwalking! <laughs> what the heck? That cat is so creepy! What the hell? Why are you moonwalking, cat? Alright, you know, I think in honor of you being the last member to get your fun time skill, you will get this- Oh my god, what the hell is this? Whatever. Alright, so what did I get for doing that? I don't even remember. A mystical bracer recipe. Okay. And I need to do one more achievement and get to level fucking 30, which is the hard one. Alright, so now we've done all that. Liberate Piatra. What are you doing out here? Oh. He's expecting us. Okay, since so, so, since the elder's expecting us, next time in Eternal Twilight, I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna guess it has something to do with making these weapons and then going to go murder Azale. So, I will see you next time!